and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Darius. We're going to be playing a basically all Noxus deck to start with today. We're going to have a lot of Noxus, a lot of Shurima. I guess two Noxus decks, three different Shurima decks today. Um, this one's going to be a Basilisk Rider deck. If y'all remember this card that was nerfed a while ago, there was a time when Noxus um, Aggro was really, really good with Basilisk Rider back in the day. We're going to be trying to bring it back with Shurima as this the Splash region. Only two Ruinous Path, two Ruin Runner. Both those cards are awesome, but we can't really miss that Allegiance, right? We really don't want to miss the Allegiance with the Basilisk Rider. So we're just playing two of both of those. But we're going to be curving out, doing lots of damage. We got Legion Rear Guard coming back, being buffed back up to being a 3-2 now. Really helping out these Noxus decks. We got three great one drops uh, with all three of those. Our twos are very nice with Demolitionist and Grenadier having the ability to do Nexus damage and House Spider going wide. You got uh, Draven being the awesome attacker, Ballista with Overwhelm at three, of course Rider with Overwhelm at four, and then Ruin Runner, Darius, both Overwhelm there at five and six. This does look like a very, very good deck. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's kind of about it. There's not nothing too fancy about it, right? Like we're just gonna be trying to curve out attack and then finish the opponent off with different Nexus damage with Demolitionist, Ruinous Path, Fervor, Decimate. So let's get to it. Jarvan Chin. This is going to be... I think this is going to be a tough matchup. I mean, no, Jar Jarvan Chen, you're like, if they have, like, Shen into um, Screeching Dragon, you know, like, they have, like, the, the beefy uh, units of their deck, that could be kind of difficult for us. All right, but we want to curve out and get ahead early. Like, that's definitely going to be important. I think, actually, let's just send the Ballista back, too. We really want one drops. Okay. So we'll lead with Saboteur. This is where it'd be nice to draw a three now. You know, I want to play, like, these two on turn two. And so, like, drawing a Draven or uh, Iron Ballista would be nice here on three. But boom, let's get that damage in before Shen and Screeching Dragon can show up. I mean, okay, so yeah, it's like, let's see if we draw a three or not. I'm not sure if open attack would be the best if we would have a three. Okay, now we only have Grenadier, because like their best play is like Laurent Protégé. But like, what if they don't have Protégé? Like they have like a lot of spells. Like what if they just have River Shaper? Like I think we'd want to like play this if they just go River Shaper. And they could go like River Shaper plus Sharp Sight, keep the River Shaper alive. All right, let's. Protege would be kind of a problem. We'll just open attack and then, yeah, we'll go Ruinous Path. No closer. It was Protege. All right, good open attack. Cool. Now next turn we got Grenadier plus Demolitionist, and then the next turn Rune Runner, then the next turn Darius. So I go. They should take Saboteur. Wow. Because otherwise, like I get to attack with these and do damage. Yeah, like they should take Saboteur. But that is the perfect 3-4 curve for them, Protégé Shen. And we are still doing good. We had a good mulligan. Okay. Open attack. So the... Really, like, the only way my opponent kind of stays alive... I guess they pl they do play Deny. But, like, the, the lifesteal barrier... I'm going Rune Runner. Feels, you know, life. This is definitely life steal barrier. What's my best attack against life steal barrier? So I guess they want to probably barrier the the Shen and block the Ruin Runner. If I make this attack, they can't do that because they die, right? No, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, they go to six, or they take they go to one, and then they would gain three. They don't die, they, so they can still life steal barrier that. 
It could just be like sharp sight plus single combat, something like that too. Now, close my eyes to make it fair. Like they have... will not take long. Hey Jordan. Yes, they've had the best possible cards, like Protégé into Shen into Lifesteal Barrier. Those are the best possible. We are still... But, like, that shows you how good our, our... You know, we had a very good start with the triple one drop. You know, like, that's a great start. That shows you how powerful these Noxus cards are. That, wow, yeah, like, they're... They really could not have anything better than that. But we're not out of it. We got Darius. Our turn three was just ruinous spell. Like we just we had triple one drop. Like that was the strength of our hands, triple one drop. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw Darius out there, gonna force them to, you know, have the answers. Yeah, like right now. Conserved strike doesn't kill Darius. Kind of see what they got. Stay back. There is no dispute. Cool. It was gonna be really, really tough for them to stay alive this turn. I'm not exactly sure how they would, to be honest. Our borders grow. Zoe Karma. I think we keep Draven. Again, look for ones. That was, like, we, we mulliganed really well last game of mulliganing into the triple ones. That was really good. Having zero ones? Definitely not good. <laughs> My opponent plays one one mana card. They get one. I play nine. We get zero. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I didn't change anything in, in the decks. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to or not. There was some stuff that I kind of wanted to, but I didn't yet. Would you like me to modify it? Or would you like me to keep it the same? You think people are overrating Zoe Karma? Well, I mean, if you have turn one Zoe, there's only so bad your deck could possibly be. Like, turn one Zoe is still... Um, yeah, I mean, like, you're, you're going to do really good if you have turn one Zoe. Oh, they, they can definitely survive until Karma. I don't know about, like, maybe until turn 10, but... Yeah, I mean, this is... This is some really good early defense, because, like, these Celestial cards... The Celestial cards play some really good defense. Like, this is going to be tough for us. I think we are... Hey, you my um, star. We're not doing the best right now. Trade it? Yeah, I guess so. Can I paint you? Yeah, turn one's always the strongest high roll in the game for just for a one card. No, last patch, the strongest high roll was Lunari Dustbringer into Aphelios. This is a tough turn. So I, I can double spell with the twos, I can double spell with the one and the three, or I could play the Rider. And I'm not sure which one I want to do. Like, if I go Rider, next turn I can go two and three. Or if I go two and two, next turn I can go Rider and one. What are you waiting for? Let's go two and two. Having, having a one is really nice for, you know, figuring out how to double swap. Because, like, if we draw another one this next turn, I could go, like, Ballista and one and one. And just shoot all the free throws. With all these and ones. Bask in her radiant blessing. If they don't break, they burn. Make the Empire proud. I don't want to put Draven down to two health and let... Zero mana, two one challengers. Kill my Draven efficiently. Alright, there we go. We get a couple and ones. The worst case scenario, of course, is that, like, 
all these celestial cards, they can have amazing anti-aggro cards with all these celestials, right? Like they could get the six mana uh, Golden Sisters and get a Golden Sister, Silver Sister, and that's going to make our life really, really tough. No, we don't really try to level up Draven in this deck. Not many decks that play Draven are, like, focused on trying to level up Draven. There are a couple, but it, that's pretty rare. It's, it's a difficult champion to level up and not usually worth it. So they'd rather kill the Blister than kill the Draven, because they're planning on just blocking. No one's the wiser. Believe or burn. Back heretic. And I'll just catch that in to draw to deal damage. We know, thankfully, they don't have Golden Sisters because they just played the deal four, deal one. So while that, while the deal four, deal one was pretty rough and it killed two of my things, I was very glad that that means they don't have Golden Sisters. I don't think burn's annoying at all. I really don't. I think sitting here and waiting for Targon players to make a decision because they have a million cards and a million options and the games take 30 minutes, I think that's a lot more annoying than just getting burned out in five minutes. That's a personal preference, though. People dislike different things. So there's Zoe's at six. They're leveling up. You would think you'd want to play to the board this turn and have that card for whenever I open whenever I open attack. No one's the wiser. Shift time. Nothing but Noxian Might. <laughs> yes, with this match is painfully slow, welcome to Targon. Every time I play against Targon, every like whenever I edit the videos, it's so much dead time because there's just there's just too many options. You know, it's not really like I don't like necessarily. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and go to open attacks. Don't really blame them. Let's do this. Ooh. All right, so they had more spells for open attacks, maybe like concussive palms or something like that. Still no blocks? Man, that's greedy not blocking. I can't kill them, can I? I can do I can put them to one. I don't have a card to discard to the spinning axe to make it lethal. I think I'd go ahead and decimate and put them down to one, I think. It does. Does mean it maybe changes like the way that they play the game though, but I just I'm happy that we get this under deny, right? Like if I don't want I don't want to get denied. But you know, maybe they like prioritize prioritize like a star shaping or a guiding touch that maybe they would not have before. So yeah, I killed I killed the Draven to keep them from getting the other three two. That would have just blocked the Draven the next turn the any anyway, and kept the rider at a nice healthy life total. You'd expect them to get the lifesteal moon weapon, which forces my hand at Demolitionist. For the Empire. I'm going on the other Demolitionist in case they... I don't know, in case it's like Will of Ionia, <laughs> and that's how they need to stop this is Will of Ionia, they'd bounce the Demolitionist. How about that? Time. And 
And I guess I just take it. And go again. I don't think I've played against Will of Ionia in, like, two weeks. <laughs> and we're going to be open attacking. Again. Oh, wow. That was... That was the perfect... The perfect hit. Get that blocker. That was the perfect hit. I see everything. Cause that was that wasn't uh, that wasn't super cool star chart that only gets three or less. That was beyond or behold the infinite that hits all of them. So they got the one card, the one card that would have affected this, this game. So they still need a couple of answers. Right now, this sabotage would put them down to two. This would put them to zero. If they like stun the demolitionist, this rider still puts them to zero. And I have the spinning axe to do one more damage if we need it. I like seeing that, because that does nothing. And there we go, the Concede. Beat turn one, Zoe. Jarvan and Trundle. This is probably going to have some beefy blockers. Um, I guess I keep Draven. Mm. Not a good mulligan. I, have my orders. I would have rather just had... Probably just rather had the cards I just mulligan. I don't know, maybe not. But this is rough. There we go, good house spider. I'm considering using the Demolitionist on the 1-1. One, one. Demolitionist will still do 2 damage later, where House Spider will not do 2 damage later. So yeah, it probably is just a house. discard any of these to kill the the trapper i think it'd probably be demolitionist you hoping they'll die of boredom i'll probably lead with ballista next turn that can be worth more than two like this thing's probably worth more than two life how it gets to block Not the easy play though, that's not that's not easy getting rid of a good card like Demolitionist. I don't want a troll chant to ruin my day. Another troll chant or a frostbite card. This is kind of bad. Okay. I'm totally considering not playing the precious pet right here and keeping fervor alive. Thought we smell something. All right, so they have a card that costs eight plus mana. 
If that's Ice Quake, that could be scary. If it's not Ice Quake, probably not that scary. So they, they played their 3 3 to do the blocking instead of this 5 5? You think I should just go face? Try to put him down to six. Go face is pretty rough if they if they just frost you know if they have like a frostbite card for this Darius, go face is pretty rough. We know one of their cards of course costs eight plus mana. I kinda think that's maybe like feel the rush. Yeah, this is not this is yeah, it's not an easy turn. Something good. Rear guard. Okay, so I can play three more things out and attack with everything. Or just attack right now. It's not attack right now. The trolls are going to war. Won't get past me. So one of those three cards costs A plus mana. Oh man. Twice in a row, they drew Enra Enrage Yeti the very next turn. Okay, Alright, so they still have the 8 plus cost card. Yeah, Tiana, that's that's a good call. Tiana makes a lot of sense. You got a problem? They look angry. of Prince. You got a problem? The last card's a Frostbite card. Oh, wow. That's even worse. Oh, wow. Well, that went really bad. Wow. Great hand opponent. Good hand. That was the last two turns for them were clutch. That was a really good Jarvan attacking. Turn, you know, on turn six, then turn seven. You know, and having these enraged yetis were perfect both both times. The turn after they got the three three enraged yeti came down. All right. Sometimes you just got to give it up to your opponent. Sometimes they just got the better hand. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Smashing. The two one does check the five two. I mean, you don't think this is over? I mean, yeah, like, they... We know that they have the 8-plus cost card. That, yeah, that 8-plus cost card is Tiana. And then this game's over. If it's if it's just any unit. Or, I guess, you know, it has to be Tiana with the rally. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Feel the Rush. I shall lead the way. Nope. Lissandra Trundle. Alright, another Trundle deck. Yeah, we'll keep a Ballista. Just like last game, no one dropped. Or I guess that was two games ago. No one dropped. 
That was against Zoe, right? I think that was the game against Zoe. But yeah, we want we want things that don't die to Avalanche. Or Ice Shard if we can. Looks like they're gonna ramp. It's still definitely worth the attack. Even though I could have passed and not let them Catalyst of Aeons, but I, I think that's worth the attack. Like I could still play the Rider. It's a 5 4. So it looks like I probably should have just passed because they <laughs> kind of went back to 20 anyway. Kind of dealt zero damage. Explosives primed. Dang. Run up down. Good hand. So they want to play Avalanche. These are okay. The party has arrived. So yeah, so I play Ruin Runner, they play the 06. I can have my 2-1 challenge the 06. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. It's always cold in the Freljord. It's good to be the king. A lot more overwhelm damage they're taking. Okay. This is going to be close. Was not good to see. Yeah, now tough Nexus. My hand was really ideal. The hindsight's always twenty twenty, so I wouldn't really say this is a mistake. I almost said it was a mistake, but the decision that I made that I would change would have been turn three. Uh, I think that if I don't attack, we're in a lot better spot. If I just pass, they don't get the Catalyst of Aeons on turn three. They could still play the Bladder Ravine on turn four, but, you know, basically they're just slow down a whole turn because they don't, you know, like they don't get to do all this Ice Pillar stuff as early and everything. Like they could just be slowed down a turn. It's Draven time. No, Catalyst is... is no, like, they, they play Catalyst, because it's all about, like, they have to get the turn. Like, you know, like, they just want to get to the eight mana as soon as possible. So, Catalyst is very common. So, you know they're going to be making an Ice Shard next turn. 
It's so, like this ballista is dead. Remember the objectives. Yeah, we're very dead now. Alright, we should be faster than the Freljord version. We'll have to see. We'll have to get some more one drops. Like that's there we go. That's been something that we've really struggled with is drawing one drops. We have nine one drops in the deck for a reason. But I think we've only seen like two total one drops in the first five cards of our last Three games. Four games. Four games. This land is ours. Inquisition. Alright, well, good start for them. Opponents are a lot better at finding one drops than we are. The winter's claw. That's why I'm looking the four and five mana card because it's not difficult for us to find the four and five mana cards. So the only reason to make this attack is a troll chant. So they're telling me they have troll chant. Do I want to block? Not particularly. Could be Elixir of Iron also, right? Like that that is troll chant, like they're the same card. I'll take everything. So I'd rather them use the troll chant here. Where I could still get extra damage through, but I guess I don't get the damage through. So if I do this, they go to 13, or I just my desert, my rules. block, block there. I save and dumb. four life. No, three life. You lost. My desert, my rules. I really hope they don't have Sejuani. I really don't th hope they. Really hope they can't curve. Sivir, Rune Runner, Sejuani. Well, I mean, I guess that's not Sejuani, but might as well be. Nothing personal. I should attack with everything. Yeah, I probably should, and then try to get the Darius to be ten power. Yeah, I probably should have just attacked with everything. So if they would have blocked, like, Grenadier, they'd be at 5, and I'd only have the 2-2 two -two to block. What did you catch? 
I really wish Enrage Yeti wasn't always the top card. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't stop Battle Fury. Why, why would I even worry about Battle Fury? I can't stop it. There's nothing I could do these turns to stop Battle Fury from killing me. I mean, I guess besides, like, a long time, like, if I would have blocked the Rune Runner and killed it a long time ago. Because that, that's 15 Overwhelm. I blocked those two. I have six health. So take exact lethal. Exact lethal. My mistake was not blocking on turn three. Or is it turn two? Whatever. Turn three. Whenever they made the attack and with the troll chant, that they, you know, definitely had the troll chant, I should have blocked there. I could have saved two life. Even though my thing, yeah, like that was, that was the mistake that I made that game. I liked everything else I did, but that was the, that was a mistake. So we ended up two and three. We ran into a couple of Freljord opponents that really had some good luck. That really uh, curved out well that all three times they played Trapper, had the Trapper immediately on top. Um, you know, multiple Omen Hawks there that last game. Like that, that was a really great curve from that opponent. They didn't have like Sejuani, they didn't have Battle Fury, so it wasn't absolutely perfect. But you know, that, that kind of happens. And you know, like the Jarvan Trundle deck as well. Um, yeah, so Freljord, Freljord was rough. You know, I guess that was that was kind of the lesson here. Like, all three of our losses were Freljord decks. Um, the other Freljord deck had the multiple Catalyst of Aeons and the the Blight Ravines. I think that um, each game I had, like, a, a small decision early on in the game that I made. I took one one path, and I think that, like, a different path would have helped me out better. Which, like, that, that very last game, I think that I should not have blocked the... Or I should have blocked the three one, have them use the troll chant there during attacking. I think that was a mistake. And then the the one that was more difficult to see, that was that was probably an easier one that I probably should have just done. The one that was more difficult to see was against the Trundle Trindamir deck of not attacking for seven on turn three and letting them play Catalyst of Aeons whenever they pass to me. That's not an easy play to do to pass, but I think if I would have passed, I think that would have um, been very important. But the rest of their hand was very good, and I don't know if, I don't, you know, I don't know if that would have won for us, but it would have slowed them down a turn, especially from getting those ice pillars out. What if they would have had to wait another turn instead of being able to play all those ice pillars on turn seven when I would have had a really good attack on turn seven without that. But anyway, so the Freljord decks, you know, like they, they do play good, good defense and everything. And so that's just kind of a, um, a natural enemy to Noxus. However, there is a lot of Targon decks being played in the metagame right now. That's something that I was definitely expecting more with these games and just what we've played against a whole lot this week. It's just been kind of Targon everywhere. And I think that this can be a, a good deck against the Targon decks if you can get out ahead of them. If you can get, like we saw kind of like one of like some of the earlier games that we played, if you can get a uh, triple one drop um, early, you know, and uh, then, you know, have like all this stuff for the, the late game and Darius as like a huge overwhelm thing late. And, you know, these other overwhelmed things like Ruin Runner is not going to get hushed. Darius could, but that kind of stuff. Um, so depending on what, what you're playing against, I think this could be a good choice for sure. But um, yeah, uh, there were good games, though. They were really close. Even, you know, all of the games that we lost were really close. So that's that's what you like with Legends of Runeterra. You want really close games. All right, but that's our first deck of the day. That's Draven Darius. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck or you know what other kind of decks do you want to see on stream. Anything else, got any other comments, love to see them uh, under the video. All right, but that's all I got here for Draven Darius. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.